hello guys and welcome back so for today i will have to render this summer house that is at my back and uh, as you can see i already started to put some uh, drips some trims on and i will have to do this side the front the sides and the back And here is the back. Now I had to waterproof or dump proof uh, this place before I came and you can see that on my other video I'm going to leave a link on uh, into the description uh, and yeah that was the dump proofing that I've done even at the back and, uh, and yeah now onto this one i will still need to do a little bit of uh, prep work before i'm going to start uh, like that side over there now all the roof was done all the structure and instead of uh, putting the timbers on the mortar and give the level that you need they just done the structure and after that they just uh, use some wedges they use those wedges there to 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 level it up uh, like i said usually you are just going to put a bed of mortar underneath that timber and that is going to give you your level but anyway now that timber it's uh, further away from the wall so now i will have to be flash with this wall here so i will have to fill that gap also so yeah we have a little bit of uh, prepping to do because i will have to cut all those wedges uh, down so i can uh, fill in nicely uh, for that i'm just going to use uh, some eps boards and after that i'm just going to put the uh, adhesive with the fiber glass pesh and the corner beads on and as a finish i'm just going to use the Ceresit top coat self clean silicone render so uh, yeah i'm just going to finish with the trims now and after that i'm going to jump on that
uh, stage is done, all the trims are on. And now I'm going to try to cut those nasty uh, pieces of timber off, which are all around. And we finished with the trim even on this side here. And yeah, just going to use my multi-tool and I'm going to cut them down one by one. So that was quick, uh, I was thinking I'm going to take longer, but actually all those uh, uh, small pieces of timber that are up there, they were all moving and I knocked them a little bit in, really I'm not going to uh, recommend to no one to have a system like this, or at least if you do it, just fill up the gaps which I think uh, at a later stage is going to be done because at the moment it's quite uh, big, the gap is quite big. And yeah, probably in time the timber is going to start to bend or... Uh, anyway, it can uh, still be done. Uh, from inside even if I'm going to cover this bit is going to be done from inside it can be done from inside so all right uh, now for the next stage I will just have to put some uh, insulation in I will cover that with some uh, EPS boards and uh, then it's going to be ready to render Okay, so right now I'm uh, trying to cut a few pieces of EPS boards and it's quite messy, I've done a few and also I started to lay them as you can see up there and I've done even this side Now I'm trying to be flush with the wall because I don't want any difference in the render and um, I'm just cutting them a little bit uh, from the back also because if not they are going to be too, too big and they are going to stick out now when I'm putting them in I'm just going to uh, fill a little bit the gap with some uh, filling foam and uh, yeah they are just going to get uh, stuck like that so I'm just uh, sticking them like that and yeah I uh, I was saying I still need to do this back side right now I'm preparing everything for the back side and 
yeah, then we should be ready to render. But as you can see, the weather changed and started to rain and that is not helping too much. But anyway, uh, let's stick some uh, boards. All right, so this side now is done. Also, I still have one to do. And I will, and I will still need to do this side. Now I just finished with all that, everything is filled and I'm just going to leave the expanding foam to do his bit and I'm just going to clear out all this mess that is right here now. And I believe now is the most important time of the day. And just wait one moment. And voila, triple cheeseburger with egg, onions, mushrooms, and bacon. So this is the most important time of the day. That is marvelous. Nice. And who said you cannot have fun at work?
so just going to pull apart my table that was quite good and helpful why not because we'll need some energy to finish this off when you are uh, working around and you don't know the places it's quite hard to find something nice like that now I'm in Lauten area and uh, that bad boy there I got it from um, from Wix um, there is a guy there with a van that is preparing all this kind of stuff and it's not joking when it's about cooking so Lauten Wix and you are going to find that guy over there which is going to give you enough food for the entire day so right let's just uh, jump back to work right now and ready to go corner bead corner bead adhesive and the mesh so i'm just going to start to do this wall right here i cleaned it i cleaned it a little bit from the foam and just cut it down uh, what it was extra and yeah ready to go just going to start on to this corner I have some corner beads over there which I already cut them to fit this corner right here and uh, yeah ready to go
all right guys so now all is complete I finished all the uh, four sides four sides um, and yeah I even filled that uh, trim at the bottom and it's starting to look a little bit better I will still have to work on it but for today I believe it's enough It's nice and sunny outside and it's starting already to dry so uh, probably next time that uh, when I'm going to be here is going to be ready to put another coat on all right so for now I'm just going to leave it to go off to dry and uh, Monday I'm going to come back and finish it off today is Saturday so yeah I believe I'm going to take one day off and um, who knows I heard that Monday is going to rain. Let's see. So, see you in a bit. Hey guys, uh, I went a little bit forward. I even applied the um, primer. And I've done those planters over there, but the weather is quite bad right now and uh, yeah the adhesive went kind of hard but if it's going to continue like this everything is going to be washed away and I will have to redo it again anyway right now I'm just going to start to do that wall uh, with the top coat and uh, just hope for the better And done with that. And 
and it's not looking bad at all. And now the weather started to be nice again. So let's just do some more. And raining again yeah just because I started to render it's starting to rain I know Alright guys, uh, I finished with the summer house, it's all done at the moment, so this wall it's quite hard, this one it's almost there, so uh, probably another half an hour and it's going to be okay for the weather, for the bad weather, because at the moment the rain is stopping and it's starting again and it's stopping and starting and I don't know what's what's happening with this crazy weather right now but I know that is giving me a lot of headaches also I've done the that planter and I will need to do that side also but I don't know at this point what should I do so yeah uh, this side is quite hard at the moment and I believe I'm going to be okay and yeah, this side is done also. So yeah guys, my job here, it's almost done. I will still, still need to do that planter. Probably I'm going to come tomorrow and just finish that one off. So I will not risk too much and uh, yeah that's it you know the drill don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one